My name is Dr. Peter Scharf, and I'm a research professor in public health, okay, in tropical medicine. Uh, I, I've been here five years. Prior to that, I was at the University of New Orleans for 17 years with an interlude uh, courtesy of Hurricane Katrina uh, for two years in Texas, Texas State. Uh, my passion is criminal justice from a public health point of view. And I'm considered uh, one of the experts in the city on murder in New Orleans and have a broad background in corrections and public health. My boutique class is an honors murder class called Violence in the Community. And we look at violence from a public health point of view. And we bring everybody from gangsters who shot a couple people to uh, street police officers, to police superintendents, to judges, uh, to police monitors. Um, and we uh, try to look at criminal justice from every conceivable public health point of view. The final assignment is to come up with a solution to reduce the murder risks in the city. And uh, then I give the papers to the mayor and the police superintendent. The second class is with Latha Rajan as a tropical medicine professor. And one student wrote an evaluation, we're better together than apart, which I believe. And we do ethical issues, we do John Rawls, we do Bentham, we do uh, 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 John Stuart Mills, we do Kant, and ethical issues in public health. Uh, you know, the China limitation of, of children, um, abortion, every fundamental, um, you know, uh, second generation cancer uh, r risk. The third class is a class I love, intentional change, is how to change the world. And we do I, Weber, Marx, Machiavelli, Gladwell, Gawande, some of the great thinkers, Collins, on change processes, uh, Gladwell tipping point. And we, we focus on, on a, a simulation at the end, which takes place during the uh, flu epidemic of 1918. And one, one kid flunked the class because they decided to have a community meeting in the middle of the flu and killed everybody. And we had a uh, Homeland Security expert come. We actually had the guy ran Baptist Hospital during the storm. Dr. Eichmann came to class. The fourth class, which I'll teach this year, I hope, is Extreme Environments, which is the impact of psychosocial stress on human behavior and health. And we look at the concentration camp, war, prisons, uh, 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 you know, riots, um, disasters, and how people adapt to um, a variety of stressors in the environment. You know, how do we keep these young people from being murdered in the city? Last year we had 193 murders, the year before 200, and we are number one in the country. And so to what are the public health drivers that uh, lead to that disastrous outcome. Uh, recently I've become, and I'm also part of the team that's in the finals for the um, uh, consent decree monitoring assignment to monitor the uh, NLPD and to assure civil rights compliance. And I contrast urban violence patterns like in New York, in New Orleans, uh, Detroit, some other largely black uh, cities, with that what, the pattern in uh, Newtown, Columbine, and some of these, uh, uh, you know, spree high, high, high casualty per incidence cases, and it's uh, been widely, I think, influencing policy in the discussions in Washington. To find the biggest problem you can find, be passionate about what you're doing and never give up and you'll, uh, you know, hopefully you'll be still around at 68 and doing what you did when you were 22.